Good morning from sunny and hot Melbourne, Australia. Wow, looks like we have some um, yummy apricots to pick. So let's get to it. Mm. There's one. Uh, maybe. just to get started okay next we have some uh, grumi chama these are Brazilian cherries so let's take some of these in too and here we have uh a red chatut mulberry. Mm. Yum yum. Check it out guys. We've got the first mangoes coming. Mangoes in Melbourne. First ones this year. Oh my, looks like the first fig is ready. So, let's pick it. The main crop is in autumn, that is March, April. But in summer, we get a few surprises. Thank you very much. Wow. That's only a baby sized tree. And of course, endless supply of uh, plums. So these are the Japanese blood plums. And they're just literally falling on the ground. And these are the peaches, the white flesh peaches, which are coming at the end of January. So we'll see those in about four weeks. Here we have... Uh, major size and major age mature uh, apricot tree this one will be ready in about two weeks it's the uh, late variety and there's literally hundreds of them maybe a thousand actually so many it's just a monstrous size tree I planted this one 15 years ago and it's a uh, just amazing yeah endless giant sized apricots and although the springtime oranges are almost finished there's only a handful left we still have these summer variety oranges which we haven't touched yet and uh, well, we're going to get stuck into those soon too. So it's always good to have early, mid and late variety fruit where possible. So you're not caught out by supermarket fruit. And last but not least guys, the avocados are ready. Yeah, they'll be um, picked over the next couple of weeks. These took 13 to 15 months to mature and to grow. So, homegrown avocados, full size in Melbourne. 